guys um today i thought i'd do a like a block orange eye color look um i've got a little bit of a tan because we've just come back from our holidays um so i just i've just been looking at you know like eye colors and things i'm thinking of maybe rather than beiges and things at the moment because i've got a little bit of a tan just to do something a little bit bright i um, just been through some of the palettes that we've got and um, I'm, I just thought orange just caught my eye so I thought right I'll do a bit of an orange eye look so I'm just going to play it by ear when I'm do while I'm doing it um, so like I say I've got a little bit of tan at the moment and all I've been putting on on my face the past few days is a little bit of tinted moisturiser just very 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 slightly just so I feel like I've got a little bit of base on my, on my face and then I'm still always using my um, concealer just under my eyes, very, very slightly. It just brightens around my eyes a bit. Um, sometimes I can suffer with like dark circles around my eyes. So I'm still putting a tiny little bit of that on under my eyes. Um, so I have got a little bit of that on at the moment under there. It's probably worn up actually in the day, so but I'm not going to re-put re it on. And then I have some of my bronzer on. Um, but that's probably worn off actually in the day so I will put a little bit of that, more of that on my room or natural bronzer that I've done in one of the videos before um, yeah so I just thought I'd just give it a go a little bit of a, of a summer eye colour look and I thought orange would be quite pretty you know quite dramatic as well I suppose but it'd be nice for you know a summer's evening on the beach or what, whatever you know if you're at a beach party or something like that Okay, so as usual, when I'm doing an eye look, I pin the fringe back. Okay, okay. Right, so I have a palette here that's by Sleep Makeup. Okay, and um, it's pa para Paraguaya 602, and it's full of like corally and orange colours quite nice so I think I'm just going to use a bit of a blend of all of them well not all of them maybe maybe three or four of them um, so first of all I'm going to start off with the beige that's at the end just to give my eye that one there just to give my eye a complete total over total over that doesn't make sense I'm just talking rubbish <laughs> do you mean all over? all over just to give it a base I have actually got a little bit of mascara on as well from today um, but I will I will reapply my mascara. So I'm just gonna pop that all over my eye. Okay, so I like to start off with a bit of a base on my eye really and it, obviously it helps to you know the eye makeup to stay on a little bit. Well I find it does anyway. Obviously you can use a primer or a lot of people use eye primers. I do if I'm going out on a real night out or dancing or something like that obviously I'm going to, you know, obviously you sweat a bit so it is nice to use a primer, it does make it last longer. Okay, so I'm going to go for three oranges that are really points at me. There's a really, really pale one, it's more like a coral there and then that one, it's a little bit darker and then that one underneath is quite, quite, oh no, is it that one? No, I'm lying. That one, that one and that one. Uh, that one, that one and that one, okay? So obviously I'm going to start lighter in the corner. No, I'm not. I'm going to do the darkest first. Which is really, really bright orange, okay? It's quite pigmented as well. So I just thought it would be different to do an orange look. I don't think I've done an orange. I don't think I've actually ever wore orange eye makeup before it's always like green blues brown blacks but I thought for the summer you've got nice bronze skin it should look quite nice okay okay and then for the middle colour which is like a corally actually it's got like a bit of a pinky tinge to it that colour Yeah, it's got like a little bit of a pink tinge, if you can see, to that one. Okay. And then the real light coral on the inside. 
I use that one just to blend all the way in. Gosh, it's quite powdery this eye, eye, this eyeshadow. I use this one. It's quite powdery. It's not um. Yeah, it's quite powdery eyeshadow. Have you put a primer on? No. That would help. As you can see there, so obviously I've done the bright orange at the end and then like worked the coral quite light colour from the inner corner on the out. Okay. Mm, I thought it was more pigmented in that and it's not. Is it the matte one? Is it a matte colour? Mm, I just wanted it to be more pigmented. Is it matte. a matte colour? Yeah, the matte. Matte colours. Yeah, well, if they're matte, then matte usually are less pigmented. Mm. Okay, I'm a bit disappointed with this look up to now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry about this, it's going a bit wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna pile it on then. But it's just falling as it's doing it. Actually, that's going on a bit better now. Now I've put a real base on it, it's actually going on a little bit better. I only actually do want the orange look right at the end and then, you know, I don't want the all over orange eye. I'm not very happy with this look at all. Um, mm, no, I don't think it, it suits me, the orange eyes. I thought it was a good idea. As I'm doing it, it might suit, suit some. Maybe it'd suit more fairer. You know, somebody with really fair hair. just an idea for a summer look really it was just a oh that they're quite nice colour it's quite a nice palette oh I'll um you know I'll give the orange look a go mm. actually it's, it's quite cute I suppose it's quite cute and probably then just slightly underneath my eyes, a little bit of brown that's actually in the sleep palette. Uh, just to define my eyes a little bit because it's so light. I think I need a little bit of dark on there. underneath obviously not on my waterline just underneath the yeah there because it's quite powdery quite a lot has gone in my eye so, oh it's irritating me yeah okay and obviously a little bit of just a little bit there Sorry, just going over it a little bit. Okay. 
Obviously it's fell quite a lot so I'm just going to brush them little bits away. Okay, a little bit of mascara. And I have got, which also gave me the idea to do this look. Actually, I think Thea's just recently done a review on it. Um, I saw it thought, oh, that looks really interesting. It's um, Sleek Makeup Again, Pout Polish, Caribbean Collection, Bonner, Limited Edition. And I love it because I have a real thing about things with SPF. It's got SPF 15 in it, which is fab. So you can obviously sit on the beach so you can go with this orange eye look and there's this orange pout polish. Just read about it. I think it's just like um, a lip balm. It says it's got avocado oil and almond oil in it. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on. Obviously, if you need your finger for it. It's got like a tint, tint of orange. That looks quite cute. Right, add. Yeah, it's just like an orange lip balm. Mm. Oh, don't smell of anything. It's just, um, yeah, it's just got like the ingredients: sweet, sweet almond oil, shea butter, avocado oil. Um, yeah, so I thought it was quite nice, and it's got a little bit of tint of orange to it to match my eyeshadow. Okay, so I hope you like it. It was a little bit of a disaster. I didn't realise how like crumbly I suppose the eyeshadow was because I've not used it before it's one of Thea's palettes I just looked at it and thought it looked really quite, quite nice the colours look quite summery and bright and you know like I say nice nice for an evening on the beach with your friends or something you're wearing a nice maxi dress with orange and I thought it'd look quite cute I don't know whether it suits me but anyway see what you think alright guys hope you like this video see you soon bye